gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest at three minutes of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO Alistair, the demolition man of And uh, yeah, Walter's a strong guy, man. 265 probably cuts a little weight, so he's walking around 275. But you know, it's five rounds, main event, and uh, I'm well prepared for that. Well, let's take a, take a look at this finish. It started with that beautiful head kick, and then you just did what you do you got on top, you had them flattened out. And the judges score cards for decision. Saul Diamato scores the contest. 29-28 Hill. David Torelli scores it. 29-28 Gadelia. And Chris Lee scores the contest. 29-28 for the winner by split decision. Claudia Gadelia Gadelia. made of family here in America and those guys are helping me out a lot. Well, it was a fantastic fight. How soon will we see you in here again? You've been a staple in this division. Anybody out there on the tip of your tongue? Hey, Carlos Baza, let's do it again. There we go, you heard it from her, Carlos Baza. Let's hear it for your winner, Claudia Gadalia, everyone. The winner by split decision, Dan 50k EK! You know, you gotta go out there and pressure, but it's not easy. You fought the guy like, dude, I woke up this morning, it's like, I gotta fight Edson Barboza. I'm freaking shaking, dude. I was nervous, got to the arena, you know. So I'm in a different mode, I'm here. I don't care who's in front of me. I'm gonna go out there and do my best and get that W. cards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-27, 29-28, and 29-28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Christoph Chaco. Big guy like Eric Anders. Game plan was knock him out, like I say in my interview, second round knock him out with my elbow. But he doesn't want to cuddle with me, so I'm sorry. Gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 29-28 for the winner by unanimous decision, Sonia Dawn. This is obviously a huge win, Matt Brown, obviously a huge name. I just want to even tell us, you know, what does this mean, win mean to you? Uh, well, you know, coming from the Contender Series, I know a lot of people weren't like uh, behind me getting picked. So being able to beat a veteran like Matt Brown kind of solidified that I belong here. So it was a big win and not only that, but kind of a, you know, a dream come true to fight a guy like that that I've been watching for so long and getting the win. And I was going to ask you about that. Obviously, you're so young in your career. He's been at the UFC since 2008, so he's a guy that you were watching coming up? Yeah, I was in high school when that guy was fighting. Absolutely, man. Um, I wanted to ask as well, how different was this bout from your first UFC fight, just in terms of the emotions and the nerves going into it? Uh, you know, it was it's, it was a crazy ride because we were set to fight him, and then everything happened with COVID-19, and then... Uh, you know, we got different names and then uh, different dots of dates and then, uh, you know, we said yes and then something else happened and then finally got, we, we, we got Matt Brown again and, you know, we said yes and, you know, it was on two weeks notice and we were just like, let's, you know, let's do it and it was a crazy up and down kind of thing and uh, I'm just glad we were able to finally uh, get it done.
Congratulations on the victory. Um, was Where does this rank in terms of favorite wins in your career? I mean, you don't get paid by the hour. Uh, yeah, you don't get paid by the hour, so you never want to do more time than you have to. Uh, favorite wins? Top three, for sure. I, I would I would imagine. Um, Anthony had never been finished by knockout. Was that the plan to go in there and try and finish him? Yeah, I mean, you, you always want to finish somebody. Like you said, you don't get paid for OT, so you don't even get paid by the hour. So the faster you get the job done, the better. Uh, I heard he was talking about my cardio, so he didn't get a chance to test that. I mean, um, sounded like it was a good night. And as far as preparation for this fight, was it a bit easier? I'm sure you're familiar with Anthony just because he was in LFA. He fought in Contender Series, both like you have. Um, as far as the preparation for this fight, were you pretty familiar with him? Uh, no, I mean, my coaches, you know, um, they did, they did, they did the research really well this time. I'm not that familiar with, with Fluffy. Um, I knew he beat Brandon Allen and I knew Brandon Allen beat me. So I was like, I gotta kill him. a very impressive performance congratulations um just talk about it you go you get to fight week under all the circumstances and then you find out you have this short notice uh, replacement just talk about what it was like to experience that uh yeah so i mentioned already a couple of times uh this guy pulled out from my fight already twice before this fight so this is the third time and uh it was no surprise for me. So both of my other win was uh, scheduled. This uh, the other fight was scheduled uh, against the same opponent, and now they scheduled me with the third time with the same guy. And I was like, okay, if they if that's what they wanted, I'll I'll do it. I'll do mine. But I always had in my mind that something might happen and he might pull out again. So for me and for my team, that was no surprise. You know, once he pulled out, me, Master, Benil, Michael, and my teammates, uh, we talk. Nothing's changed. We are in a shape. Just a different opponent. So the new guy came, and uh, we just checked his fight a little bit. Different style, but we were ready for it. Great man, it feels good. Not only to win, but just have a great f***ing show, man. That's what I want, a great show for the fans. Everybody sitting at the house watching. I knew they was watching, so I'm gonna put it on for them. Yeah. What you know what I put on for? Clarksville, baby, say B. That's what I put on for my city. That's where I'm from, that's where I'm straight out. I'm gonna stay in that and keep on knocking down. You know, I'm happy to have my job, I'm happy to have my team behind me, um, all my family, all my supporters and stuff who've been through the ups and downs of, you know, the fight world and especially, you know, my career in the UFC. So I'm just happy to be where I'm at, I'm happy to get the finish and I'm happy to go home and, and see my family. I'm excited. Whether it was during a pandemic or just a normal fight week, I was just happy to get the finish. treinou isso muitas vezes, né? A gente sabia que ele era uma tartaruga ali de costas pro chão. A gente sabia que ele não tinha o jiu-jitsu bom, o wrestling bom. Então, eu sabia que uma hora eu chegar na finalização, que eu chegar no pescoço dele. Well, we knew we knew that he didn't have a good jiu-jitsu background. So, our game plan was always try to put pressure on him, take him down and make him make a mistake, which he did, and I was there to capitalize. Sem sombra de dúvida, a mensagem que eu tô chegando e é bom treinar jiu-jitsu, não vai ser finalizado. Well, the message was very clear. I'm here, I have a right, and if you don't change your jitsu, you will die.